Well, welcome back in. So glad to have you back again. And we're going to hop right into the happenings here of this big magazine journal, Getting Bound. I indicated um, during the last video that I had plans for this center piece where the two pieces meet. And as you can see, these buttons um, are awesome. These are ceramic buttons. I got them from Tina Walker. Uh, her Etsy store. I will have them linked below for you if you're interested in seeing what she has over there. I don't know if she still has any available or not, but I love these buttons. So I wanted it kind of to look like um, two sides of a coat coming together and having um, some buttons on it um, in that area. So that was the the thought behind um, having these two pieces of fabric kind of overlapping. And now I'm just trying to get um, some DMC floss that will kind of match that fabric, that vintage like upholstery fabric. And uh, so once I've located that, then I'm gonna get those sewed right onto that fabric bind end or bound end piece. So now that I have those buttons tied off on the back side, I am going to cover that spine area. And I chose to use some therapeutic sports tape. I didn't, um, I used the uh, Fabri-Tac to um, support the adhesive on the back of that, but it was very stretchy and it, it wasn't in the long run wasn't the best choice uh, to use. Uh, I would have preferred to have used possibly some or even gaffer's tape actually probably would have been the best choice to use. Um, there's this this therapeutic sports tape I have found a lot of great uses for it uh, when binding however this was not on this size of a journal and the stress points that it had it there uh, was not the best choice to, to choose. If you're not already aware, if you apply a little heat to Fabri-Tac, it will set up a little bit faster. So that's all I'm doing right here. And now I'm just gonna repeat that same process for the back cover.
Now that I have that bound edge for the most part handled, I'm just checking to make sure that my art journal insert fits and none of the pages go outside or beyond the front and back cover. And then I'm gonna start to prep the inside covers by putting down some gesso um, on the inside of the front and back cover. Something Now we're getting to the fun stuff. So I have chosen to use a canned goods pull top as the um, latch for this journal. So I'm gonna take that same tapestry um, type upholstery fabric and I'm going to create a fold over piece that will hook into this. Now I chose to do this at this point because I really wanted to kind of embed that uh, pull tab into the whatever artwork I ended up doing on the front cover. So you're gonna see here I'm um, getting that, figuring out where I want it to go, how long that strap piece needs to be. I'm going to sew it inside out and then pull it back through um, so that that can then become the attachment that holds the journal together. And once that strap is all prepared, then I'm going to take this um, black gesso and adhere that to the pull tab. Um, because whatever paint or anything I do to it, I want it to stick to it well. So that's why I am gonna use that gesso over the top. Now that the pullover fabric piece is uh, finished, sized, um, and ready to go, it just needs to be attached. And the um, pull piece is, the tin pull piece is drying. I am gonna get the initial layers of the, going onto the front and back covers. Now, what you're gonna see here is the ugly stage. And I'm trying to keep these videos to about 15 minutes or less. And so we're gonna stop after that initial layer gets put down. Create a color um, and do some stenciling for my first layer on this cover.
Now that I have that first layer down, I'm going to go ahead and punch the holes I need for my attachment here, the pull tab attachment, so that I know, um, trying to keep an eye of where I'm gonna end up sewing that on. So as I go in to do the second layer, which is going to be um, collaging some paper down, I'm gonna collage a couple different varieties of paper, papers down onto the cover. So that is my next step. And I did wanna just share with you, as I take on the, the project of binding a journal, I kind of try and think things through at least initially, but from once I get into it, I try not to really plan it out and just see where things take me and what comes up in my mind to handle different challenges with the binding. At this moment, it's time to tell. Well, true to what I said earlier, I am leaving you here at this stage, the ugly stage, um, before we get moving into um, getting into the bulk of getting the cover done, getting the last bit of the hinging done, or excuse me, the closure done, and then adding the insert. Um, so be on the lookout for the next part in this binding series.